Living Truth Global Media Presence 30 Signs That A Woman Never Really Love Her Man, Or Her Husband Many women go into marriage without genuine love for their husbands. Really, their husbands proposed to them and followed them up till the woman said she agreed. Meanwhile, the agreement may be based on the fact that at that time, the man is the best person that has proposed to the woman and has behaved to be serious about it. It is possible that as at the time the woman may really love another man around her but the person never proposed to her, or the person proposed to her, but didn't behave to be serious about it, or the parent or the people around the woman didn't really like the person, and discouraged her from marry the person, meanwhile, in the woman's heart, that is the person she was really in love with. Sometimes, some women accept a relationship, and followed it to marriage, because the kind of person they really want to marry, eventually did not come to propose to them, meanwhile, there is social pressure, because of their age to marry, hence many women end up marrying a man or person they really do not really love, and may be in the relationship for years or their entire lifetime to never really love the man, but are in the relationship because of what they stand to gain, and the expectation of their society. Many women are in marriage, still proving the genuinity of their husband's love for them, without taking note or working to prove the genuinity of their love for the man, who decided to leave all other women to love and marry them. This lack of genuine love for their husband is one of the reason why many men are married, but instead of enjoying their marriage they are just enduring it, and why many women, lost the genuine love, and respect their husband initially have for them, and instead of enjoying their marriage, end up being in the marriage without the initial love and care of their husband for them. Hence, instead of enjoying their marriage, they are only enduring it. This is also the reason why many marriages become so toxic that many men and women have to divorce and go their separate ways. Below are signed to men that the women they married never really love them but she is in that relationship for what she stands to gain, and to women that they never really love their husband but her in the relationship for what they stand to gain, and if there is any woman that believes she really love her man, and wants to keep the relationship, then such a woman really need to change her behavior and attitude to the man and save her marriage. Know that it is better not to lose a genuine love, than to lose a genuine love, and try to win it back, it may never be the same. Number 1. It is the man that always looks for her dirty clothes to wash it, and takes care of his room. This may look insignificant but it is a big sign of genuine love or lack of genuine love in marriage. Where there is love, the woman will always think of taking care of the man, and one of the many cares she can give to the man is the care for his physical well-being and outlook. When a woman genuinely loves a man, he will work at making him look good, and take good care of his dirty clothes, rough room, and bed. When a woman doesn't care about taking care of his husband's used clothes, the well-being of their matrimonial room, and the good-looking condition of their entire home, it is a sign of bad upbringing, and lack of genuine love for her husband. Number 2. It is the man that always packs his things when he wants to travel, you don't see whether he has packed all he needs to take along, and ensure that he has all he needs to take along in his journey. When a woman really loves a man, he will not want him to leave her side, but where there is no love, the woman will not care even if the man has to travel for years. When a woman loves a man, and the man has to travel due to the nature of his job, or for whatever reason, the woman will want to make sure he is comfortable where he is going, as a result, she will want to be sure the man pack all that he needs to pack, and do not lack necessary things he can take along. But where there is no love, the woman will not care about the well-being of the man where he is going, she will only be concerned about the man leaving enough food and money for him and the children before he travels. Number 3. When you see your children, work, or business as more important to you than your husband or the well-being of your marriage. Many women, when they begin to have children, begin to give more importance to the well-being of the children than the well-being of their husband. Some, it is their business or job that become their priority, they careless of their husband's well-being. The loyalty, attention, and allocation of time to many women is for their children and their work. They derive their joy and pleasure from these things, and it is from these things they believe they have hope, 
gradually, their husband becomes nothing to them. If this is your situation, it is a clear sign that you really never have genuine love for your husband. You are in the relationship only for your personal needs and well-being. And when you have gotten it, you believe the husband is no more necessary, because you have gotten what you want already. You may still be leaving with the man, and be taking care of him to some extent, but when there is need to choose between loyalty to the man and your job, business, or children, your loyalty will go to your job, business, or children, because you believe you have much of your needs to be met through those needs, but as far as the man is concerned, you believe there is very little things you need from him. If that is your mindset, it is an indication that you never really love the man. It means you have always been in the relationship only for the good things it can offer you. This is not good, and this is sin against your husband and against God. Know that without the man loving you, and getting married to you, you may never have gotten that job, business, or children. And the man married you with the hope that you will always be by his side, and throughout the days of his life. Number 4. When you don't have passion for work and earning of money to assist in family expenses, and you believe it is only the man that should always provide for you and your family. It is a sign of laziness, poor upbringing, and lack of genuine love from a woman that sees the need and opportunity to work and earn money to support her husband in providing for the needs of their family, but fails to do so. When a woman has to depend on her husband for all her needs, that puts too much pressure on the man, and that can weaken the man, leading to his early grave. A woman that loves her husband will be willing to work, and support the little or much that the husband may be giving her for keeping the home. This she will be willing to do out of love and genuine concern for the man, and her family. Number 5. It is the man that always picks his clothes for occasions, you don't bother about what he wears out to office or occasions. Women are known for fashion, and generally, most men don't give much attention to fashion. When there is genuine love, a woman will be willing to assist her man in that area. She will not want her man to go out in such a dress that people will look down on him or wonder what kind of wife he has. Therefore, when a woman doesn't have a genuine love for her husband, this can be known through her attitude to her husband's dressing and makeup for office and occasions. Number 6. Whenever there is disagreement between you and the man, you always want the man to apologize to you, you find it difficult saying sorry, and genuinely apologizing to the man. Marriage requires submission and respect from every woman for their husband. When a woman agrees to marry a man, she automatically agrees to respect and honor the man. She is expected to always make the man happy, and feel good. Meanwhile, because of human nature, one may not be perfect at doing this, no matter how much one tries. In such a situation, recognizing one's wrong and feeling sorry, and apologizing is very essential. A woman's apology to her man is not because she is wrong and her man is right, the apology is recognizing she has done something that is wrong, or something that is right but the man has misunderstood it. The apology came from her as a sign of respect for the man, and after that she can now explain, and clarify her action. When she has genuinely apologized to her man, the man will be willing to listen to her explanation, and if she was actually right, the man will be willing and happy to apologize back to her. But if she believes she is right, and refuses to apologize, but only explain to prove herself right, the man may apologize to her, but it will not be from a willing heart, but just to let peace reign. When a woman doesn't really love her man, she will find it difficult to apologize to him. Instead of apologizing, such a woman will continue to argue to justify her actions. And women are a really intelligent creation, and when it comes to argument and justifying themselves, they are very good at it. Many women see it as humiliation saying sorry to their husband. Many women believe it is their husband that should be saying sorry to them. No matter what they do, even when many people are pointing to their wrongdoing, they will still be arguing, and justify why they do what they did. Many times, because of the love that husbands have for their wives, and to allow peace to reign, many men end up looking away from what their wives did that they find wrong, 
and apologize to her based on her argument for doing what she did. And many times, many women get used to it, and may be expecting it from time to time. And when their husband get fed up with their behavior, they may end up seeing the other side of the man. And that may be the foundation of separation to the marriage. Such women may not see anything wrong apologizing to their bosses in their place of work, when they wrongly or rightly accuse them, but they find it easy to fly up, become moody, or separate themselves from their husbands at the slightest correction, condemnation, or accusation. Know that when there is genuine love for a man in a woman's heart, she will never want to make him angry or shout at her, and when that happens, she will quickly work at it and quench the ugly fire, before it become big and uncontrollable. But when there is no genuine love, the woman will not care what the man might do, or what might happen to the marriage, especially if she has enough money, job, or people that can take care of her if anything should happen to her man or marriage. This is also a big sign of arrogance and pride in many women, which they may know or never know they have. Number 7. You find it easy to shout at the man. If you are not afraid to shout at, and quarrel with your husband, then you really never love the man. Your husband deserves the greatest form of respect and humility from you, than anybody in the world, apart from the Almighty God. He deserves more respect and submission from you than you give to your parents and your boss at work. If you find it to be wrong to shout at your parents, and your boss at work whenever they speak against you and shout at you, but you cannot tolerate correction from your husband or you don't mind shouting at him when he corrects you, then you never really love the man, nor accept him as your husband. A woman must learn to see his husband as a king, and next to God in her life, in order to have the right respect for the man. But if you see your husband just as a friend or colleague, you will not be able to give the right respect to him, and you will not be able to strengthen his love and respect for you. Number 8. You find it easy speaking ill of the man in the presence of someone else, your female friend, your parents, your colleagues, your boss, or someone else you admire, or you think likes you, and wants good for you. This is a big sign that you never really love the man. Your man cannot be a perfect person. Your man may not be as rich as you want. Your man may not be able to meet all your needs like the husband of your friends or colleagues or your parents, but you have a duty to cover his shame before everybody, including your parents. But if you are not ashamed to speak ill of the financial weakness, or whatever weakness or imperfection the man may have, it means you really never love the man. Where there is genuine love, you will see the shame of the man as your shame. But if it is only the success of the man you want to be identified with, and you don't want to be identified with his shame, it means you are only in the relationship for what you can gain, and not what you can give. Really, the man may need help, and you want to help. Then you relay his weakness or problem with people that will be willing to help him, and not people that will only sympathize with you, and look down on the man. And the way you present his weakness or need to them matters. You can present it as someone that cares for him, or someone that is ashamed of him, and just wants the sympathy of the people you present his matter to. You must know that many of the people you are presenting the matter of your home to, also have their own challenges, which may even be greater than your own challenges, but they are managing it. And when you are misrepresenting your husband to them, they may say sweet words to you, but in their mind, they may be condemning you, and seeing the problem or what you see as your man's fault as your fault, but they will not tell you so that next time, you can keep telling them the secret of your home, even though they have nothing to offer you for the solution. Number 9. You don't bother to learn about marriage, or how to make your marriage work, or become great, and your man is always happy with you. Many women don't see any need to learn from others how to make their marriage work, and their husband is always happy with them. They believe there is no point in doing that, they believe they have known enough. That is a sign of lack of genuine love and value for your marriage. If a woman don't mind buying many books to make more money, acquire higher position in her profession or career, buy expensive clothes and makeup, etc., but don't see need to buy books, tapes and attend marriage seminar to build her marriage, then she doesn't value her marriage, 
and such a woman will surely not value her husband. This is also an indication that she never really loved the man, because if she loves the man she will be anxious to learn how to better please the man, make her marriage to him stronger, and overcome whatever challenge that may want to threaten the marriage. Number 10. It is the man that always initiates sex. Generally, men initiate sex more times than women in marriage, but this should not be the case all the time. When a woman genuinely loves her husband, she should want to make him feel happy, and one important way a woman can make his husband happy is by helping him express his sexual needs. Know that nobody else is permitted to do that except you, and when you fail to do that you are automatically committing sin both to the man and the Almighty God who has created sex in marriage. Just as everybody needs food to survive, look good, and be happy, everybody also needs sexual expression to feel good and be happy. This also has both physical and psychological benefits to both of you. God has created in every woman the features through which her husband will have sexual pleasure, similarly, God has created in every man features through which his wife will have sexual pleasure. God wants us to have these pleasures that is why he has created them in our body, and he has done so in such a way to make a man to always need a woman, and a woman to always need a man. So, sexual pleasure is a mutual pleasure. And when one person denies the other person the pleasure, it creates a mutual denial, and many times, mutual pains. The desire for sexual pleasure becomes easy when there is genuine love, because true love seeks the well-being of the object of love. But where there is no love, one will not care about the well-being of the object or things he doesn't love. Therefore, when a man and a woman are married, and it is always the man that always initiates sex, the woman hardly embraces or cares for the man to arouse him and initiate sex, this is a big sign that the woman never really loves the man, and really wants his well-being. The same is true the other way round, that is when it is the woman that always initiates sex. Really, there may be time in which you may have to refrain from proper sex, may be due to the woman's period, pregnancy, sickness, and so on. This time should be understood by both of you, and both of you should know that the refrain from sex is necessary at the time. Even in such a time, you still need to be close, embrace and be around each other to express your concern for each other at that special and trying period. It should not be a time to throw a fight and quarrel, but a time to show love and sympathy to each other. But where there is no love, the sympathy and concern for the well-being of the other partner will not be there. Where there is genuine love, it can still be expressed to the man by the woman by her words and behavior, even though sex is not involved at the period. Other signs that a woman never really love her husband are briefly stated below, take time to pounder on them as it relate to you and your marriage. Number 11. You always find fault with the man's decision. Number 12. You believe you are more wise or intelligent than the man. Number 13. You don't really accept the weakness and imperfection of the man. Number 14. You secretly wish the man is not the one that is your husband. Number 15. You wish the man should behave or talk like someone else that you admire. Number 16. You are ashamed of revealing your body or seducing the man. Number 17. You secretly admire someone else and enjoy the presence of that person more than the presence of the man. Number 18. You don't feel moved by the presence of the man, or desire sex with the man. Number 19. You don't care of leaving or staying far away from the man. Number 20. You don't care about making the man always being in love with you, and thinking of only you. Number 21. You don't care about the health or physical well-being of the man. Number 22. You are ashamed of being identified with the man outside. Number 23. You are ashamed of the man's work or profession, even though it is through it he has been providing for you and the family. Number 24. You are not willing to stand with the man in time of problem and trouble. Number 25. You don't see the man's problem as your problem, and the man's shame as your shame. Number 26. You don't care about the sexual needs of the man. 
Number 27. You don't care about the well-being and need for food for the man. Number 28. You are careless about your own dressing, how good you look, and how covered you are outside. Number 29. You don't mind divorcing the man, if need be. You believe you can easily and better survive without him. Number 30. You secretly wish the man to die, and you are free, either to marry another person or to be totally free from the authority of the man or any man. If you are a woman, and you see many of these signs in your life, then you need to humble yourself and change, if you still want your marriage, especially when your husband is still in love with you. And you need to do this fast before your man loses the genuine love he has for you. Do away with arrogance, do away with pride. Humble yourself, and protect your marriage before it is too late. If through your behavior, you have lost the genuine love that your husband has for you, you can still claim it back. All you need to do is to change your behavior. Be humble to go to your man, and sincerely apologize to him, and let him know that you have realized your mistake and you are ready to change. Really, he will not agree that you have changed immediately, but over time, with a change of attitude and behavior from you, he will be convinced that you have changed, and may accept you back. May God's blessing be upon you, and your marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. What are the other signs you think I have missed, and you think are signs that a woman didn't really love her husband, please make them known in the comment section below. Do you disagree with any of the signs, please make them known in the comment section below. God bless you, and keep your marriage.